Um, we'll start with the January transfer window. You said it would be a quiet window. You didn't anticipate too many players to come into the club. You didn't make a single signing. Does that show how much confidence you have in the squad you already have here and the, the youngsters coming through? I think it shows uh, a lot of things. Uh, the one thing is really that we trust in that uh, team that we have here. But uh, I still believe that there would be one or two players that fits to us but it doesn't work in the winter because uh, we were clear with the player but the clubs didn't want to give him away so we have to accept this but you can be sure that we stay on working on these players because i want to have players they make us better and um, that's not so easy to find in in this in this uh, part of the year but um, otherwise i think uh, we we showed in the last two months since I'm here that uh, there are a lot of new players now in the team. You can say they are maybe new signed players. Uh, Jan Bednarek, for example, he didn't play before I come, and uh, Ward Prowse, for example. So I think they did it well, and uh, they get the chance to show that they're better than um, they did uh, until I was coming here. And I think it's something like a new signed player for, for for me and also the young players uh, they got the chance to play um, showed that uh, they can be an option for the future uh, they have still deficits and still to work in this deficit but uh, therefore we have the time now to 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 use all the sessions we have now to to help them to get better players and so I think the team overall is uh, um, ready for the fight and for this uh, what is facing us in the next weeks and months and um, if we stay working like we did in the first two months uh, we have a big chance to stay in the league you said it there the <coughs> initial answer there was a couple of players that you were looking at and you got close to but the clubs you were dealing with didn't want to let them go how close did you get to making a signing oh well, we were clear with the player but uh, yeah that's not <laughs> there's only one part uh, so um but it's normal, I think, that other clubs in the winter break or in the winter transfer period, uh, they don't want to give the best players away because they also have their targets to face and, and the, 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 the things they want to reach. And, and so it's, it's normal that they don't give away the best players. But uh, um, we, stay, we stay on working and uh, maybe in some way we have the better chance. There was a lot of speculation and talk with regards to Charlie Austin. He remains at the club. Will there be any issues with him being welcomed back into the squad or are you happy that he stayed and he's still here? Sure, I'm happy because uh, I think um, not only against Arsenal, he played, he made a, a fantastic goal so he can always score for our team and we will need him and his uh, scoring quality uh, for sure for the last, last uh, month in, in this season so I'm happy that he's here. Uh, we have now, with uh, the injury of Danny Ings, uh, one striker less in the in the, in the attacking uh, zone. So we need to, we need him, and uh, it's good that he he's uh, back after his injury. He has also a little in ankle injury, and uh, that uh, kept him away from playing against uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, but now against uh, Burnley, he was still in the squad, and he's also an option for the weekend. You touched upon Danny Ings there. Let's start with the team news ahead of the Cardiff game. What's the latest with him and other players that have uh, yeah, Danny had uh, made, uh, after 20 minutes, a big step to the ball and then a sprint. And then he had the problems with his uh, hamstring and uh, that cost him maybe another two or three weeks to come back. So that's not good. But, um, yeah. We miss him, sure, for sure. He's a good player for us and a good strike, and I need to, to have him here. But in the moment, we have to to know that it takes two, three weeks. But um, the good thing is Pierre is back uh, after his uh, concussion. And um, yeah, I think um, it's important for us because uh, you saw against uh, Burnley that. Uh, um, with his experience on this position, uh, we missed him a little bit, and it's good that he's back. So a little bit light up top. Danny Ings out for two or three weeks. Obviously, Manolo Gabbiadini went out on loan, so you don't have many options uh, striking wise. A lot of pressure on the players that are here to, to get goals. Well, I don't think that we in a moment show uh, that we have problems to score. I think um, we did it nearly in every game. 
So Reddy is in a fantastic performance in the moment. Uh, he he nearly scores every game, and we have a few other uh, players. They also can score. Prowse, for example, and uh, a few more. So. I don't think that is our most problem in the moment to score. Uh, we should uh, be focused in the future to to have more clean sheets. I think that's the more problem we have because we showed in the last games that we always score and um, sometimes it must be enough to score once uh, and not always two or three times to to take a win. So that's again the target and the most focus we are we are looking at is that we we try to have this clean sheet. The good thing is um, that. Um, for example, Ryan is back. Uh, he can he can uh, he, he nearly trained every session uh, until he was um, injured. Um, Maya Yoshida is back uh, after the Asia Cup, Asia Cup. So we have a few more options in the in the back five, and um, that helps us, yeah, to to have better training sessions also and and uh, more quality in the training. And you see that. The guys have a very good concentrating, uh, concentrating work uh, during the week. They they show the, that the mixture of, of having fun and and working concentrately uh, concentrate is um, you can feel that it is always uh, a good passion in, in, in every session and um, that uh, it, I enjoy it very much uh, to work with this team in a moment and um, that's the reason why. I think uh, we want to show on Saturday that uh, we are better than when we played the first time against Cardiff this year. It's obviously a, a huge game with just a two-point cushion between the two tight sides. Does the team talk do itself because of the nature and close proximity of the, of the two sides? Yes, absolutely. It's an important game for us. We lost the first 1-0 uh, in Cardiff. I don't know if we were the if they were the better team in this game, but they were cleverer or smarter and 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 took this uh, few chances they had to to win this game. Um, after one training with this team, when I was coming here, this match was a little bit a little bit early. Now we had more time to work in, and we want to show that uh, now we are we have developed our game. That's what I want to see in, uh, on on Saturday. That um, this time we turn the table. It'll be a very different Southampton side that, that takes on Cardiff compared to that first game in charge you had. Sure, um, we want to show that um, um, we know how now to play against this team, and uh, I think it was a very tight game the first one, and now we have the chance to yeah, to to take more than than only uh, a few good words after, after intensive game. So I think uh, we should really be focused because we know that um, we gave two points away against Burnley in the last minute and that hurts a lot so um, I think uh, the reaction of the team would be a very very focused one and um, to be honest I don't want to play against my team on the weekend because they're really hot. And finally for me, you've touched upon James Ward-Prowse um, almost being like a new signing for Southampton what have you done to him, um, other than play him, obviously? Because he's, he seems to have, have really been an integral part of your side over the last few weeks. He's got some important goals. It must almost surprise you that previous managers have, have left him out of the squad. I don't know how his position was uh, before I was here with the previous managers. Uh, I can't think that he doesn't train every time very well because he is an absolute professional guy and uh, that shows his physical options he has and uh, you don't get such a physical uh, shape if you are not working hard. So <laughs> I don't think he was not working hard before I was here. Maybe now the shape we are playing, you know, the philosophy we, were, we want to play fits more to him like the philosophy before, I don't know. Uh, what I see is... Um, that he is a player who is immediately uh, do, doing what you, what you demand him to do, and that's very important in our in our net in our shape what we want to play because that's very important that you have a player he's open minded and very very um, he can read the game and and also uh, uh, learns very quick um, not to be too man oriented uh, what space he has to defend and uh, 
Therefore, you have to be a smart player, I think, and maybe this helps him to to make this development like he did in the last two games. Thank you. Well, Ralph, he's, he's one of the policemen in the dressing room, isn't he? James Ward-Prowse, when it comes to... Is he? <laughs> did you, you didn't give him that responsibility? I think we have a lot of policemen now in, 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 in policemen in the in the dress room, dressing room because um, we have a lot of rules to to follow, and uh, it's important that they know that um, this is important for our, for us as a team because um, discipline is important for our game and also for our living together every day. And so is one guy who is really one of this, yeah. Comparing the, the squad you inherited to the, particularly the team you have now, is, is discipline and the ability to learn. Are they, are they the two main traits that you, that you looked for, why you've got the players you have in your first team now? I think if you follow my history, it can be not a coincidence that um, very often team uh, team players uh, made a big step in my in my in my squad. So when I was a manager, this type of players um, they put their ego away, uh, had a bit a better chance to to develop this game. But you also need the guys; they make something special uh, and uh, have maybe. Um, a little bit more ego, yeah? mainly the guys in the, in, in the front, uh, they have to score and if you want to score you have to take more responsibility and more uh, more ego on the pitch, I think, sometimes. So to handle both sides, also the stars and also the, the, or, or the, the captains and, and, and the workers, it's, it's, it's important that you, that you, you keep every, every, everyone um, in touch, and I think uh, that's what I, what I try to, to do with these guys. And um, so, for me, um, both are as important. The guys who can maybe decide the games, and also the others who try to work hard and help the team to to come in the best position. And um, that sort of team first ethos against Burnley, there seem to be some moments where, in your own box, players will really throwing themselves in to protect the goal, to, to, to block shots and things, you know, the, that fighting quality, does that please you or do you look more and think we should have stopped that attack earlier on? No, that's pleased me. So I think uh, that's a characteristic, I think, of, of our defending in the moment. So if you see players like Jan Bednarek or Yannick Westergaard, uh, it's really... They try everything, and if they clear it on the line uh, or in front of the goal, and then it's 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 also okay. So um, we want to defend as high as possible, but sometimes, like in the last 15 minutes against Burnley, we were pressed in our own half, and we were defending very deep, and and um, they had not a lot of chances. I think it, there were two before they got the penalty, and uh, the penalty, as you see, after it was not easy to defend for Jack because he was. Uh, Pulled down from 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 um, prowl, uh, crouch, and so. But I think the mentality and the character we we, we showed in this in this um, tight situations in this situa situations where it is a lot of pressure on us, we 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 enjoy the, the the hard work and and this this defending stuff and um, working against the ball is always the core of our of our work and um that doesn't mean that we don't have chances uh, we had a lot also in the last game and um the the chances to rise that we win the game i think we did in the last weeks and sometimes we did it sometimes we only make the draw but the most important thing is that we take consistently the points. One, three, not losing games, hard to beat. And that is the stuff you have to do if you want to stay in this league. And just at the other end, you mentioned needing a bit of something about you, a bit of ego. Nathan Redmond, like you said, has scored in virtually every game. He, he told us he was quite low at times last season when things weren't working. Is he now? Has he got a, a strut about him? Is he, you know, is he is he loving life? And you know, is he the? the I know, I know that he had. He doesn't have an easy time. I think last year, yeah, and um, the more surprising I think is this development he took in the last two months. Uh, but um, 
I think uh, the quality was always here. We could feel it, but uh, you had the feeling that uh, he doesn't. Uh, the break was on, so I, I I want to remove the break that he that he can come in this space in this uh, place where he can score and uh, not only show how good technical he is and now he is much more dangerous because. He has a fantastic shoot with left and right foot and uh, now he comes off more often in the position where he, he's able to score and that was the goal we, we tried to, to, to do that that he has may, may, maybe the most quality in the fr in front in our team so we have to put him in the position where he can score and he just can decide the games and I think we did in, in the first two months. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Ophelli, what's the latest on his injury? Yeah, I forgot him before. <laughs> I want to talk about him. He's back in training. Um, next week when we go to Tenerife, then uh, he's uh, part of the team. I think Ingzi and, and Lemina stays at home because it's too early for them. They can't uh, train with the team, so we don't only take players there where they can uh, train with us and and take all the sessions we have down there, uh, and that does only make sense if if he is fit and Michael is fit. Is Tenerife a warm weather training camp? Or? Yes, it is a, a very good time for us to to get a little bit in in. I don't know how to say in English. Um, to look back to the first two months, uh, we have spent a lot of time with the, with the, with the guys and um, they invested a lot and I think it's time to make a resume or a review a review um, we should take this time because we spent a lot of time together there and we can speak with every player again uh, we have prepared uh, uh, a lot of videos for everyone so nearly 20 minutes for every player and you can imagine if you want to show every player what he did good until now and what is not so good and uh, the deficit he has that will take a long time and that's perfect there because we can work very hard with with everyone and beside that we have a lot of time um, maybe on the under best, best conditions on the pitch uh, warm weather helps a lot to to train tactical things because therefore you have to stand a little bit longer on the pitch and you can you are not afraid that someone to catch a cold because it's 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 better to to work there on the pitch in, in perfect uh, conditions and that's after this f first two months i think it's very important for us f to prepare perfect for the for the rest of the season sure we would like to be also in the fa cup but we didn't so we try to use this time now to to take an advantage out of this time we have Can trips like that really boost the team around as well and so that side to it I hope so that we we can we can uh, um, develop our game in this in this week uh, again. Uh, we have to, and um, I think uh, a win against Cardiff in the weekend would be perfect. And we have a very good atmosphere there, and we can go there and and uh, be critical with all we did until now, but also proud of the the the, the points we we took until now. It's 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 a huge. I think 15 points until now we we took and it's it's you you have to uh, uh, it would be easily to be in the same position like Fulham in the moment so that could be easily uh, and we took a lot of points but we still are, are not out of the troubles in the moment and that shows how tough this league at the end is and how tough these teams down there are because they are also consistently taking the points and that means that the last three months are. Uh, very, very um, uh, interesting and hard and, and uh, looks that we need to have the best performance until the end. You mentioned the amount of points you have taken since your first game was away to Cardiff. What's impressed you most since that, that game? A few new things for me in this, in this new league, uh, absolutely. Um, I think uh, it, w it was impressing that that my team learned very quick i think we we showed um, good moves in the front but also uh, other style of defending and um, 
We had very good games like this against Everton at home. I think it was the best. And the last against Burnley, I didn't like very much. It was not so good. It was um, and sometimes not the style we want to defend, a little bit too deep. And um, But I think overall we, we showed that we this, this team can play better than they did in the first uh, half of, or first uh, month of, the, of this season. And that gives us hope that we can do it. Um, from your point of view, I mean, the players talk about how much attention to detail you have. Has anything taken you by surprise in the Premier League? Yeah, a lot of things. Um, I think uh, it is a very physical league, and mainly that also the last uh, or the teams in our area they have always very, very good one against one players. Uh, if I look at Crystal Palace, for example, uh, it was really, really hard to defend. It's a fantastic team and. And so you have to have the best performance every weekend, otherwise you don't take a point in this league, and uh, that's really a, a tough fight. You you have to you have to go uh, high intensity, a lot of speed. Also, um, sometimes you have to to face opponents. They are playing complete different style, uh, very big changes from one week to the next. So it's sometimes very interesting to prepare the team for the new challenge we have. But um, it's it's uh, if you have time, it's good. If you don't have a lot of time, then it's a lot difficult. But I think it's very interesting for me as a manager also and for the team also. And you've had a week. You've had a week since the Burnley match. What sort of test will your team be facing on Saturday? What are you preparing them for, in Cardiff? Yeah, I think uh, we know from the first game that uh, they are physically very strong. A lot of uh, good set pieces, uh, long throw-ins, uh, and yeah, a team that is um, really uh, very good uh, with very good commitment. And yeah, it will be a tough fight, but uh, I think um, we want to show that we are better than in the first game. From me. You mentioned in the, um, the first section about clean sheets perhaps being a problem. Would there be is there a scenario where you could swap goalkeepers again, or is Alex McCarthy going to remain as the number one? Alex is uh, the number one in the moment, and uh, I think um, he knows, and also we know that uh, it would help us a lot if we have more clean sheets. Last game, ten seconds were. <laughs> to go or 20 seconds for a clean sheet and we didn't do it because of the penalty. I think we were very often very clear or very narrow to a clean sheet but didn't do it then. Uh, against Everton we get a goal in overtime now again. Against Everton it was not, it doesn't cost a point or two but this time it costs two points and but I think um, I don't look only on the goalkeeper, I look on generally on our net how we want to defend and if this is okay and if we invest a lot to defend uh, or to def for better defending, it will come by the way. Thank you. Have you been impressed how Cardiff have responded to the, the tragic situation with, with Salah, Emilio Salah? Yeah, this was um, amazing, I think, uh, how this club uh, showed um, um, how they handle this this tragic moment and my thoughts are with uh, the family of the player and of the pilot it is tragic and uh, um, I don't know how I would react as a manager in this, that's in that situation that moment but um, I think it shows uh, all of us that um, there's something much bigger than only a game on the weekend and uh, in these moments, when you hear such things, then you you remember um, that this is not the most important thing to win the game on the weekend. So, it helps to find the ground again on the on your feet and and um, settles you a little bit. And I think for uh, nobody, uh, I think for me it's very difficult to find the right words in English. Yeah, um, but also in German I would have a problem. I think it's it's really. Uh, uh, a strange situation for a club and uh, yeah and you mentioned Jan Bednarek what's impressed you most about his performances I don't know I, I've seen him from the first day as a really very good player uh, from the first training session I had a feeling that he can do or he can give us much more than he could do until now until the moment I came 
and the trust I, I put in him, he paid back every every minute he played. I think it was amazing. The saves he did sometimes uh, it was <laughs> helps us to get to, uh, to get a lot of points. And as I spoke before about the positive and the deficit uh, every player has, uh, I was today thinking about the deficit he, he has in his game, and I didn't find a lot. So that shows me uh, how how good he did it until now. And although maybe his building up the game can develop a little bit, and uh, but that's a general philosophy we want to to show more in the future. It's not the point now to take a lot of risk in the last blow, but although also this part of the game will rise in the future. Are you surprised he didn't play more under your predecessor? Again, I don't know. Uh, maybe every manager has different uh, view and want to play something different and then maybe this or this player is not perfect for him. So uh, that's always diffic difficult to say. Um, sometimes uh, you need you need other type of players, a, a type of centre backs, and then yeah, it's 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 that's football. It changes so quick, and that's what I tell all the players. Also, in my mind, uh, at the beginning, Ward Prowse was not really the big player for me. Yeah, when I was coming here, I didn't see the stuff in the training where I wanted to see. But suddenly, after two three weeks, I saw okay, after one meeting and telling him what I miss, he showed me immediately that he can do this and that if you are open-minded manager and ask about your um, view on the player and, 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 and ask yourself if you view also the good things and only the bad things, then suddenly the situation changes completely. And I think that's the part uh, how Prowse it happens and maybe for Jan Bednarek it was the same. And yeah, that's football. Whether you go with a back three or a flat back four, he and Vestergaard, it's a good partnership, isn't it? They complement each other very well. Sure, I have a luxury problem now huh? because uh, Maya Yoshida is back and um, when he left, we, uh, the last game he played was a 0-0 against Chelsea. So this was the only clean sheet since I'm here. But it's a good signal for the for the team if if a player comes back and the team works very good that he is not automatically back in the team. So um, Maya, I think, uh, uh, knows uh, that in the, in the moment uh, I don't want to change uh, the back five because it's also about the automatism and, and Jake made a fantastic job in last weeks and so uh, it's normal that he will play now. But I'm happy that he's my aspect because um, you never know uh, how quick it is and he's back in the team.